If you want to be faster, more consistent, and win more RC car races, this is where it's going to happen. Now, not specifically right here, but in the corners. So in this video, I'm going to give you some simple steps to make some great corners. Uh, going to give you some pro tips along the way and ultimately share some really specific, important knowledge that made me a better RC driver. All right, guys, the first two steps uh, to setting up a great corner are going to be find the right line, okay, and then go in there at the right speed. And those are actually the same first two steps as executing a great jump, uh, which I also made a video on. So if you're struggling with jumping an RC car, make sure you check out that video, which I'll pin in the top of the comments below. But don't jump down there just yet because you're not going to want to miss everything I tell you in this video. So going in there on the right line, and then probably more importantly, going in there at the right speed so you can control the car and be efficient. And I'll explain that a little bit more in, this, in a second here. What I want to do now is share a really, really valuable pro tip, uh, and that is to get out and walk the racetrack as much as you can. Okay, In the morning when you get to a racetrack, go out and walk the track before practice. Uh, before your heats, go out and walk because the track might change a little bit. You might see something a little bit different from down on the track than you can see it from up on the stand. RC racing is so unique because we're way away from the actual race car. We're not looking out the front of the car. Uh, so some of those lines are tough to see from up on the stand and getting your feet down on the track, seeing it a little bit better uh, in person down from the surface, especially the farther away from the stand you are, uh, the less you can see. So finding some of those lines, seeing some of those bumps you might want to avoid uh, can be really crucial in uh, being a little bit more consistent and avoiding mistakes as well. Okay, so get out there and walk the track. Now, we've got into our corner and we want to be at the right speed and the reason why and one of the most important pieces of knowledge that I want to share with you in this video is that I really break all the corners on the track down to two different things, okay? And that's the technique that I'm going to use in the corner. The two techniques are going to be whether I'm going to try to oversteer the car and create rotation, okay? Or am I going to try to carry speed and use understeer to get through that corner nice and fast? Okay, typically in a 180 like the one behind me, I'm gonna use oversteer, which means I'm gonna lift off the gas, I might use some of the brake to create more traction up on the nose of the car and get that car to turn quicker and rotate to get to where I can get back on the throttle. In a really fast corner, like a 90 degree corner that you don't really have to slow down for, you might just turn the wheel, use the turn of the wheel, use the understeer, okay? Which in an understeer, of course, the car is turning less than you're turning those front tires. Okay, use that to slow down just enough and not necessarily rotate the car and pivot uh, because that might scrub a little bit too much speed. Okay, so those are really kind of the two techniques that you're going to use to turn the car. So better understanding that and understanding what makes the car turn and oversteer, which is weight transfer to the nose, creating more traction, okay, is really, really important knowledge uh, when you're deciding what techniques to use. Okay, so middle of the corner, first steps, right line, right speed. Then you want to execute that turn, whether you're using understeer or oversteer, whatever it's going to be. Okay. So now we're kind of midway through the corner. The fourth step is going to be find your exit. Okay. Find your exit and catch your race car. If you're in an oversteer, if you're rotating that car, you got to get back on throttle at the right time to catch that rotation and exit where you want to exit. If you're a little bit too slow to react, the car over rotates, it's probably going to take you off your line and put you in a place where you're not going to want to be. Okay. If you're a touch early, it might put you to the outside. You might have to lift back off the gas, um, which just requires a little bit of patience. So not the end of the world, uh, but ideally we kind of want that sweet spot. We want to grab the gas at the right time, catch the car and exit where we're thinking about exiting that corner. Now, the last step is just to exit the corner and set up what's coming next. Okay. Um, hopefully you have that in mind when you're thinking about where you want to enter the corner, because every piece of this ties together. It's, it's five steps very quickly from one to five, set up the line, go in there at the right speed, turn the car, execute that turn, then catch the rotation, find your exit, and then ultimately leave that corner and set up what's coming next, guys. So you got five simple steps to get it done. Uh, a couple of the pro tips, again, just to reiterate, go out and walk that racetrack. And then really the most important maybe piece of knowledge that I'm gonna give you in this video is understeer versus oversteer, really understanding what creates traction and what you're trying to do in the corner and understanding that is hopefully gonna make you a little bit better driver.
you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe for me. Uh, here is that video of jumping technique and it's gonna be pinned down in the comments if you missed the link right here. So make sure you check that out as well and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.